Oh yeah, well the purpose of this video is to show you how to import and synchronize a transcript with a media file, typically an audio, but it could be a video as well. Now, this is a, a, a video, or a, sorry, an audio of Peter. And over here, I have a transcript of Peter. And there's nothing to stop me just importing the transcript and the audio, adding them both to Peter's case and working from either in terms of coding, retrieval or reporting. But sometimes it's nice to be able to synchronize that text with the media file so that I can listen as well as read a passage of text. And that can be particularly important in some studies where, you know, listening is just as important uh, for things that you can't see in the text, like the annotation in the voice or pauses or emotion, uh, which you can code for from the audio. Uh, but also people like to work with text because text makes it searchable and sometimes it's just easier to read a transcript uh, than to go looking for passages and listening to them. So the idea of this tutorial is to show you how you can synchronize both. Now, the first thing to say is, obviously, if you want to synchronize the time spans, you've got to have the time spans in the transcript. And you've got to have them in this format. So it's hour, second, um, hour, minute, second. And it's got to be exactly like that that there's different formats that different uh, transcription softwares will use but they can be they can be formatted uh, or reformatted so that's the format you need for the time span and each passage then has to be in a column or a tab if you don't like the actual structure table you could just use tabs but it has to be in a separate column um, adjacent to the passage that it's actually with and it's a good idea if you're going to do this to have headings it just makes it easier on import. You don't have to have them, but it's easier on import if you can match up on these. You can match up the rows based on the column. So you would call that time span, you would call that content, and you would call that speaker. And and then you're ready to import. Um, so we're going to import and synchronize this transcript with Peter's audio. So I'm going to close it now because you can't import an open file. And I have to edit the file to import it, so I click I have Peter open here, but I can click here to edit. So this is what I see when I click to edit. I get my time span, my content, and my speaker, thus the headings in the Word document. Um, and this becomes active, import rows. Um, so I can just import that, click on that button, and I browse to my file. So there's Peter. I'm ready to import now. Now, this is asking me if I want to use time spans, paragraphs, or table rows. And um, we want to use table rows because they contain all the information. So it'll split it out like this, which is how you'd see it had you transcribed within in vivo. Um, this will be set by default that the file in includes identifier column if it sees the column. And um, if I if that isn't there, then I would have to tell it here which column um, would would be the actual time span. So this is known as mapping the fields. So it, it's telling it here which of these goes to which. Which of these in the Word document goes to which of these parts in the transcript. So the time span is going to the time span. The content is going to go to the content. And the speaker is going to go to the speaker. And that's it. I'm now ready to import. And there's my file in. And they are synchronized which means if I play a particular passage, that's the only passage that I'm going to hear, but I also have the advantage. Oh, well, this is, uh, I find this uh, slightly hard. I also have the advantage of having text. So that's how to import, um, that's how to import a, a text file and synchronize it with an audio. If you have any questions on that, send an email to support at qdatraining.eu. Take care, thanks.